Good afternoon. I'm Corey Pegues from the Long Island Alliance, Law Enforcement Alliance. We're here today because there was a tragic shooting of a 17-year-old two days ago. We'll call, I'll call him by his first name, Dante. Dante Crinones, affectionately known as Dante, but his family. With me today are members from the Law Enforcement Alliance, community members, and most importantly, Dante's mom, Chrissy. She's here today. Another, another mother grieving for such a tragic crime in this village. Now we also know that the police can't be everywhere all the time, but we're asking the community, we're asking the community, we're begging with the community to get rid of this misnomer of I can't snitch. This snitching syndrome. We got to get rid of it in our community. Because if you see a crime happen and you don't tell, that next victim might be you. You might be the next Chrissy standing next to me at a press conference burying your child at 17 years old. Hempstead Village has received, has experienced a rash of shootings this year. Homicides, just two weeks ago on Windsor, someone was shot eight times on Windsor, which is on the other side of the village. We have to stop this. The police can't do everything. We're crying out to the community to please come together. If you see something, say something. Now, Hempstead Village spent a lot of money on this technology called Shot Spotter, where they triangulate a shot and get the police there within a matter of minutes, sometimes seconds. It's working well out in Roosevelt. It's working well around the country, but it hasn't been working well here. The second key to having the technology is you gotta have the manpower. So sometimes the police can't be here. And in, in the village of Hempstead, they might have two or three cars running around. So if there's shots over here and they're dealing with something on the other side, it takes a car away. But we do have human beings that's witnessing these crimes. And we need the witnesses to come forward. We're not saying put yourself at home and come in front of a TV camera and express your feelings, but call Crime Stoppers. Reach out to the community members. Reach out to the Law Enforcement Alliance. We'll get you to the necessary people to make sure that one, we get rid of the crime, and two, we lock up the individual that committed the crime. So tired of coming to these presses, making these statements. I hate putting on suits now. Because when I put on a suit, I know where I'm going. I'm either going to church or I'm going to do a press conference. I am Dante. I am Christopher. I am Raphael. I am Mark. I am Dennis. I'm all of these young black and Hispanic kids that's getting killed out here. I'm raising a family in this village. I want my children to be able to walk on the streets of Hempstead Village, feel safe. I want them to know that when I, when I was younger, every village raises a child. It's the adults, we need to look out for the children and the children can be as old as 25 years old, can be 30 years old. Because once you mama's child, your mama's child. Again, we're calling out for the community to please, please help solve this crime. Give his mother, give his family some satisfaction. At least we can put that killer in jail. I'm going to now bring up to the mic Darren. And he's going to talk about some other things. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is Darren Green. I'm part of the Law Enforcement Alliance, the Long Island Law Enforcement Alliance. And one of the things, again, that we want to address here is that, again, I've had the conversation, the pleasure of speaking with uh, Chief McGowan yesterday. Uh, we do have a scheduled meeting with Chief McGowan uh, early next week to really go over some initiatives uh, to make sure that we join those forces of community and police department. The adage term to protect and serve has not worked anymore. And that, that term has now gone or fallen by the wayside. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we bring the law enforcement officials, in this case, Chief McGowan to the table, as well as the community to the table, so that we can bridge the gap of bringing back effective policing and having community leaders so community leaders can have a voice so community leaders can assign those individual people to come sit with the police chief and say listen this is what is happening on my particular town 
my particular side of Hempstead. If we don't, then we're going to continue to have these heinous crimes, these shootings. It cannot happen anymore. We can no longer stand next to mothers and grandmothers. We can no longer have an advocate like Valerie McFadden who stands here. These signs that you see that are standing behind us is a list of 291 victims. Okay, 295 now. 295 young men and women, black and Latino, that have been shot and killed on Long Island. Predominantly in Nassau County, a lot of them in Hempstead. There is time for resolution. The Law Enforcement Alliance has now come together and we stand and we are going to meet with all of the elected officials. We've had conversations with Mayor Wayne Hall. We have a meeting scheduled with him. And we are going to be progressive and aggressive in dealing swiftly with making sure that we bring resolutions to the community and the incorporated village of Hempstead. We are no longer on the sidelines, we are in the game. So make no, make, make no, no, no qualm about it that when you see Law Enforcement Alliance, that we're here because we wanna help affect change. We're not here to victimize anybody. We know the police department has a very tough job in this community. And I know quite a few of them. What we want to do and what we are going to do is bridge the gap. But as my partner said it, we cannot do this without having help from the community. We must have you present. We must have you at the table with the police, with the police chief. And we have to be able to now start holding ourselves accountable for the things that are happening. We have, again, mom, where's mom at? We should never want to see this face again. We have the entire family here that is grieving. This is not a sight that is pleasant to see. It must stop. Law Enforcement Alliance will do everything that we possibly can to make sure that we bring to the table the proper individuals to find resolutions in our community. I grew up just up the street from here, five blocks on Westbury Boulevard. This is a community that I played in. This is the first church that I spoke with, that I, that I sat in when I was nine years old. And just so you know, I'll bring up my partner next and Dennis Jones, and just so you know, there are other initiatives that Dennis is gonna speak about. One person, and I can, this resolution is that Monday night, Monday night, we're calling an emergency community meeting. More than like that meeting is going to be held at Union Baptist Church, 24 Clinton Seaboon Way. See me afterwards. I'm putting it out there now. I did have a, a confirmation this morning. I, I am going to reconfirm that before we leave here today. Okay? 24 Clinton Seaboon Way in Hempstead. That is Union Baptist Church. Pastor Cedric V. Easley is the pastor there. At this point in time, I'll let my partner Dennis come up and he'll explain to you what the rest of it is. Good morning again. Uh, Dennis Jones, uh, D E N N I S J O N E S, with the Law Enforcement Alliance. Um, these initiatives that we, we are discussing with you are things that we're going to work hard and put in place in our community. Uh, developing monthly meetings throughout our community, monthly crime forums, not just the, uh, where you can come and talk about your garbage, but we're going to be talking about crime. So we're going to be asking the community and the community leaders to come out, talk about the situations that are going on on your block. Talk to us about the situations that you're, you're going through so that we can come up with comprehensive ways to solve those things. And we're going to work along with the police department. We have, amongst our alliance, over 150 years of policing. And we're going to use that knowledge and that experience to make changes in this community. Uh, we are also going to use uh, the, the help of Reginald Lucas, Lucas, who stands here from the uh, Hempstead Coordinating Chamber of Civics. And we're going to go out to his civic meetings. And we're going to make sure hitting his civic meetings, we're going to hit all of Hempstead because they have those meetings going on already. And we'll be able to sit down with those civics and make sure that we're touching everybody in the village of Hempstead at that time. Okay, we're also, we brought up uh, ShotSpotter. ShotSpotter is a system, it's the po most powerful gun shot detecting system in the country. And it's in Hempstead, it's all over Hempstead. You wouldn't probably know it because it's not being publicized, but we're going to take that to another level. We're going to help the village publicize ShotSpotter and its effectiveness in Hempstead. But what also has to happen to ShotSpotter is that we have to get cameras. There has to be a camera interfacing with ShotSpotter so that when a shot goes off, 
that camera will turn toward that shot and everyone will get to see who's firing that weapon, who's running away from the, those, those scenes of, the, of crime. So we're going to speak to the business owners and we're going to speak to community leaders and we're going to see what we can do in, in, in having a conversation with the police department and the mayor and getting those cameras installed. So that's something that the, the Law Enforcement Alliance is going to work on initiating very shortly. And last um, but not least, uh, we, we know, we've heard that snitching and uh, snitches get stitches and as uh, Corey said earlier, we're going to do a campaign that's going to end that. We're going to do a campaign amongst our youth that is going to teach them that that's, that snitches get stitches doesn't exist anymore. What we want to do is we want, we want their help in solving these crimes. We want to get the help of all the community in solving the crimes that exist in Hempstead. So we're going to go to the schools, we're, we're meeting and having meetings in, in all of the communities in Long Island, so we're going to utilize uh, the, the school board and we're going to have some meetings in the schools and we're going to be talking to kids about snitching. We're going to be talking to kids about getting the, the facts out, contacting the police department, doing what is right to protect the community. Uh, so these are the things, again, that we're going to just roll out initially, and we'll be coming back to you with a lot more initiatives as we study the system and study the things that are going on here. Um, again, we have with us Valerie McFadden. I don't know if Valerie wants to talk about her boards. We'll ask her to come up now. Good morning. I'm Valerie McFadden. I live in Union Hill, but I grew up in Hempstead. The boards that you see are a record of the loss of life on Long Island since 2000. I found working in the community service field that I began to lose a lot of my young people. I worked for Family and Children's Association for 25 years before funding was wiped out. But I've kept this campaign going because once we go to a funeral, everyone goes back to their destination and the families are left with unsolved cases. The families are left to grieve as if they've been forgotten. And I'm not going to allow these names to be forgotten, these loss of, this loss of life. And especially growing up here, I've turned 50 this year. I never experienced what, I've, what I'm seeing our young people experience, to say that they, will, they don't believe they're going to live to be 18, for this family here to have to grieve, for this mother to not know what, why and what happened. Her son is out in the community, and a lot of people will say, well, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, I say the person with the gun was doing the wrong thing at the wrong time, should not have had a gun, and we should not be accepting it as a community that they are out here resolving their issues using a gun, a knife, and bringing this kind of pain. And we do need the community to come on board before the tragedy. We do need to take our community back. We do need to look at our homes. We do need to make sure that those people who are carrying guns, they're keeping them somewhere. And nine times out of 10, it's in the homes. But if you look at these boards, this is what Long Island looks like. But that's never promoted politically. It's never talked about because Nassau, of course, is one of the richest counties in the world. But the fact is, Nassau County is losing our young people at an alarming rate. Since September 7th, I have spent September 7th to last Saturday at the hospital with shooting victims. One and two in Uniondale. Shot, one shot in broad daylight, a beautiful day outside. Broad daylight, the children in the, in the barbershop, guns go off. Three people hit. That's not acceptable. So we all need to come together. Law enforcement can only do so much, but we can do a lot to add to that because we can't keep continue to lose our young people. That is really heartbreaking. Can we hear from Chrissy, please? Yeah. Um, Chrissy is not willing to speak at this time, but we're going to have her brother speak in her place. This is the this is the wanted poster. I want everybody that's here standing on the <coughs> sidelines, standing behind me. I see Nassau County detectives have just came on the block to pass these posters out. I'm imploring everyone. The detectives are here. Dante is gone. Some of the finest detectives in the country. They're trying to solve this homicide. If you know of anything, when they knock on your door, please invite them in. If you can't, then you can call this number, 1-800-244-TIPS. And tips, the numbers for tips is 8477. So 1-800-244-8477. Or you call the Nassau County Homicide Squad at 516 573-7788. Justice for Dante, please.